post down. And he said to me, I'm not taking it down because, and I asked him why. And this is something that my sister can verify because she was in the room and, you know, my husband was there awake with me, pleading, begging this guy, take this down, let us settle this thing. I mean, they've been fighting all through the marriage and it's always been settled, you know, within the family. And then this whole thing, we've never had this situation before where we had to deal with family problems in public. Okay, so, and then I was like, ah, oh, guys, please, let's just settle this. And he said, no, I want to put this out there because I don't want a situation where Cora will bring her own story out and then people would or, you know, they will not be on my side. So I want to put this out there so that I can get the public on my side. And that's what he told me. This is me hijacking the story from the liars, from the, you know, extra script writers that are just there saying their own. This is me hijacking it and just telling you all what's going on because I need you people to, to, to leave my sister alone, okay? Yes, I'm supporting her with my full chest because I've always, I, and I'm also apologizing to her for trying to silence her because I am the reason for her silence. Every time people have, um, have anything to say on the internet, they're chasing clouds. Sometimes <laughs> you have to talk. I have been away from, from Facebook because I didn't want any issue. I did come on Instagram once to tell people off, to tell them that, you know, they were being nosy, leave my sister alone, you know, you want to, that's why you want her to stay in the marriage. Because they kept telling me, oh, Nancy, you, you have married, happily married, and you are chasing your sister out of her husband's house. You are the jealous bitch that. I kept that marriage for four years. Yes, I did. I've kept that marriage because every single fight we've had, I've had to settle it. And this is, I have, I have evidence for years, for days. At times, simple things like, oh, I don't want her to post this thing. He will come and call me. Nancy, tell your sister I don't want her to post it. And I'll tell her, don't post it. And she'll be like, okay, I won't post it. But then they would have fought and then it was affecting my family. I blocked Justin. Asked him. I blocked him for two years before, he had, before they had Athena. We were not talking because I was tired. I was tired of settling their fight. So all of you saying, oh, you're not going to help your sister do at home. You're coming here to this family. I tried. I did try. Okay? Now, back to my story. I got a message from Justin last week saying that, oh, I spent $18,000 on CPS. Uh, I'm just trying to, I can't contact Cora. I'm just trying to keep the, uh, child protect, protective services. I'm trying to keep uh, my children safe and I'm and I ignored the message because he had blocked me okay so this is me publicly apologizing to my sister because I am partly the reason why she's in this mess so you all know before I joined Facebook I was on um, I was on Instagram and when this whole divorce thing started, I was the first person to say in fact I got on the news for the first time ever in my life for saying that we were trying to sort this out privately, right? I remember being awake for four hours on the phone, talking to Justin, talking to my sister, begging Justin to take that post down because he had put out a post that was really controversial. People wanted to know what was going on. Everybody was surprised, you know. Excuse me. Their marriage was so public. And so he had come out to drop this big bomb. And then I was like, please, Justin, if there's any way you can listen to me, if there's any respect you have for me in this life, please take this prayer to shut me up. The moment I joined Facebook, yo, this guy was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Because I, my family, my, 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 we all know, okay, we all know that if you open our mouth like this, he's finished. He really is trying to silence in my own country i swear if you don't if you don't sue me like this is me i'm talking to justin now because they say oh seize and disease like oh i'm supposed to be like oh justin is trying to sue me oh my god i'm so scared he doesn't know my family he doesn't know that me us and court case they know they, they know they win us for courts okay so if anybody has been defamatory in life it is him because you have no rights whatsoever to say things that are baseless you didn't catch anybody on the bed sleeping with anybody yet. You went ahead and published on all the blogs. 
Instagram and all of a sudden he was trying to contact me with a different page. He has numerous pages if you all don't know. He has so many pages on Instagram. So he just pops in on you like, ooh, hi, this is Justin. So he has a, a lot of pages on Instagram. So he sent me a message saying that um, he's just trying to, to protect the children. And I was so confused because in my mind I was like, um, what's going on? Okay. I didn't answer that message. He deleted it. And then two days ago, he sent me a message saying, um, after I came live to support my sister and to set the record straight because he had been going around, um, I don't know, for some reason, just is always in bloggers DM and they, I have evidence for this as well. He's always sending messages to bloggers and that's how he managed to tarnish my sister's image. Do you know something that happened? The funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. I swear I've not stopped laughing since yesterday. I've, I've showed everybody I know and I've been laughing. Justin got a lawyer in Nigeria, somebody's career online. This this one is not even a matter of like it. Right. Ah, God. Like, thank God that this girl, man, I told my sister, don't say a word. I, I said, don't say a word. And I now I feel so bad. And now I've told her, look, I'm not, I'm not there to tell you what to do anymore. Do whatever you want to do. And you can see, you all can see that this person is the biggest liar. This guy has broken numerous phones. I'm saying everything I'm saying now, there's evidence for it. My sister's phone phones have been several times for attempting to be online attempting to create content attempting to 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 make money he has smashed it i cannot talk about the abuse because that's that's for the courts but then this guy has the guts to send me a letter telling me to cease and desist after all he has done to my family this is me hijacking it and just telling you all what's going on because i need you people to 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 leave my sister alone okay Yes, I'm supporting her with my full chest because I've always, and I'm also apologizing to her for trying to silence her because I am the reason for her silence. Every time people have, um, have anything to say on the internet, they're chasing clouds. Sometimes, <laughs> you have to talk. I have been away from, from Facebook because I didn't want any issue. I did come on Instagram once to tell people off, to tell them that, you know, they were being nosy, leave my sister alone, you know, you want to, that's why you want her to stay in the marriage, because they kept telling me, oh, Nancy, you, you have married, happily married, and you are chasing your sister out of my husband's house, you are the jealous bitch I kept that marriage for four years. Yes, I did. I've kept that marriage, because every single fight... Okay, so this is me publicly apologizing to my sister because <sighs> I am partly the reason why she's in this mess. So you all know, before I joined Facebook, I was on, um, I was on Instagram. And when this whole divorce thing started, I was the first person to say, in fact, I got on the news for the first time ever in my life for saying that we were trying to sort this out privately, right? I remember being awake for four hours on the phone, talking to Justin, talking to my sister, begging Justin to take that post down because he had put out a post that was really controversial. People wanted to know what was going on. Everybody was surprised, you know. Excuse me. Their marriage was so public. And so he had come out to drop this big bomb. And then I was like, please, Justin, if there's any way you can listen to me, if there's any respect you have for me in this life, please take this. I've had, I've had to settle it, and this is I have I have evidence for years, for days. At times, simple things like oh, I don't want her to post this thing. He will come and call me, Nancy. Tell your sister I don't want her to post it, and I'll tell her I don't post it, and she'll be like, okay, I won't post it. But then we would have fought, and then he was affecting my family. I blocked just to ask him. I blocked him for two years before he had before they had Athena. We were not talking because I was tired. I was tired of settling their fights. So all of you saying, oh, you're not going to help your sister do at home. You're coming here to this family. I tried. I did try. Okay? Now back to my story. I got a message from Justin last week saying that, oh, I spent $18,000 on CPS. Uh, I'm just trying to, I can't contact Cora. I'm just trying to keep the, uh, child protective services. I'm trying to keep... Uh, my children safe and I'm and I ignored the message because he had blocked me